Hello, my name is Desiree, and thank you so much for watching this tutorial. For this video, I am doing a vampire tutorial, as you can see here. So I'm starting off this look with my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, and I'm going to be placing this in my forehead, not there, my nose, and my chin. Then I will be taking my Cover Effects Blurring Primer, and I will only be putting this primer in my problematic areas, which is my cheeks, where I have enlarged pores, and this primer helps with that. It fills in my pores. And then I'm just going to blend away everything. Then I'm going to be using my Flower Beauty Eye Primer, and I'm just taking a very small amount, and I will be placing this in my eyes, because it's an eye primer, and that's what it does. <laughs> then I'm going to be using my Tarte Tartise Liquid Highlighter in Exposed, and I'll be using what I like to call the Moda Number no. 2 brush. And I attempted to put this on my brush, but it decided to not cooperate with me. As you can see so I just had to use it another way which worked out better for me anyway then I'm gonna be using my elf best friend duo in pink pal and I'm using the light brown shade with my Alimad crease brush and I'm putting this shade in my crease and I'm going to build this color up Then I'm going to be using my ColourPop Semi Precious palette using the shade West Star which is a gold shade with my Alimad flat brush and I will be placing the shade on the center of my lid only. Then I'm going to be using my BoxyCharm and Pure Cosmetics collab palette using the shade Alliance which is a darker golden brown and I will be using the brush the Vintage Cosmetics Step 3 brush and I'm placing the shade in my inner and outer corner of the eye only creating a halo effect. Then I'm going to be using my Physician's Formula Foundation in Cream Ivory with my The Root Techniques Foundation Brush. Um, but you can use any foundation that's lighter than your natural skin tone. This is something I had laying around in my collection and I thought this was the perfect time to use it. And I'm also bringing this down my neck as well. Then I'm using The Root Techniques Beauty Sponge and I'm just going all over the face with this sponge to create a seamless look and I'm also doing that with my neck as well. Want it to look blended people. Then I'll be using my Wet n Wild paint palette in neutrals using the gray shade with my foundation brush. I am going to contour my face like I would any other day. Except I'm a vampire here. And I'm using my Moda number no. 3 brush to blend that in. <laughs> I'm also placing this in the center of my forehead that's connected to my hairline <laughs> with the same brush. So I'm using two brushes at the same time. And I'm also putting a little bit under my chin. And I'll be using whatever's left over on the number three brush on top of my chin. Then I'm going to be using my Flower Beauty Matte Translucent Powder with my Luxie 660 brush and I'm going to powder all that down. But wait, I forgot my Sephora Concealer in Peach Light. Can't have a vampire look without great under eyes. And I'm just going to blend that away with my uh, Real Technique sponge. And then powder that down with the Luxie brush. Then I'll be taking that same e.l.f. duo palette with the same step three found, uh, not foundation, step three brush and just adding a little bit under the eyes. Then I'm taking my Alliance spoolie brush and brushing out anything that's in my brows with my L'Oreal brow stylus pencil and brunette. And this time I decided to show you guys how I did my eyebrows. And I'm also using the Brow Gal in Brown Hair 02 to set all that down.
Then I'm using the Flower Beauty Lash Warrior Mascara. Just applying just a little bit of it. And then I'm using my Anastasia Glow Kit Palette. The first highlight I'm using is Snow, which is the white shade. I was very inspired by Queen of the Damned by Aaliyah. She had this beautiful glow and that's what I was aiming for. And I was also inspired a lot by the interview with the vampire. I thought the vampires in both movies were gorgeous and so that's what I was aiming for. I'm also placing a little bit of that on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and a little bit on my chin. Then I'm going in with the flat Adley My Cosmetics brush and just taking a little bit of snow under my brow bone. Actually, on my brow bone, yes. And then I'm taking Golden Dawn from the same palette with the same flat brush and I'm highlighting my inner tear duct. Because again, I was very much inspired by Queen of the Damned and while they all had beautiful highlighted inner tear ducts. So I have two liquid lipsticks here for you. One is actually a lip gloss by Sephora. It is the Perfect Nude in 04. It's a Sephora gel lip gloss. And I'm also wearing fangs. So that's what I look like with that. Also inspired by Leah. And then the second lips, uh, lipstick I have is by Wet n Wild. It's a liquid cat suit in Hexcellent. The fangs I'm using are from the Spirit Store. They are the special effects retractable fangs. Now I'm using the Wet n Wild Zombie Catwalk 12909 Stencil Pack. Giving you that number so you can easily find it. And I'm just placing this on my neck. I'm using that same Hexcellent liquid lipstick. And I'm just putting this all over the stencil to give me that I just got bit in the neck and turned to a vampire look. really making sure that I'm doing a good job here. This is why I decided to show you guys what this part looks like. I even had to fast forward it because it actually took me a while to do this part. Now I'm just removing this and showing you what it looks like. But I actually messed up and uh, yeah, I ruined it. So I was hoping that the spirit vampire blood would cover that up a little bit. I was also going for a, a true blood looking lip as well, putting some vampire blood on my lips to try to get that I just bit somebody and got this great red color <laughs> lip. <laughs> I'm also just playing around a little bit and um, trying to see what looks good and I thought okay that looks great. So I'm also putting a little bit of fake blood on my neck so it also looks like I was just bitten. as you can see. And then there you have it. This is my look. Thank you so much for watching.